we have to show you how one family breaks out of boredom. Okay, no whims allowed, apparently, but what's behind the celebration might have you wanting to join in as well. Are you, are you kidding? That looks like a ball. It's where we start today with some ideas for adding more magic to everyday celebrations like birthdays, more than cake and candles. Keep it fresh, we say, with interesting traditions. Lauren Gardner has some ideas on how to do that. I'm already like, want to be adopted. Just by looking I'll at that you. family video. <laughs> okay, so your family is behind the pie fight. Yes, so a little bit of background. We love any excuse to party, and we tend to get a little bit messy. <laughs> I saw that. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit. Up in the picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the reason we like to do that is because it kind of gives you an excuse to get away with doing things you don't normally get to do. So we love to get messy. So for the pie fight, um, we actually did that as a surprise party for my dad's 50th. Okay. It was a lot of fun. He, he had no idea. He didn't know the party was happening, let alone what was going to happen at the party. Exactly. And he was the subject of all that whipped cream. Yeah, and you should have <laughs> seen him at the end. You could, he, he was just a blob. You couldn't see where he was, where he began, where he ended. Oh, that is hilarious. It was so much fun. Grandkids were involved, I see. Grandkids, some of them didn't like it, but <laughs> well, they, I bet they'll a lot grow of them, to like it. They I will. bet a lot of them love the idea of pieing Papa, though. That of must course. have been a fun excuse, of fun course. permission granted. So how did you set this up, then, a pie fight for a birthday? Yeah, so we didn't want to waste our real pie, so we saved that for afterwards to enjoy and eat. But what we did was we actually um, took all this pudding, had everybody bring uh, just buckets and buckets of pudding. <laughs> and then, of course, here, do you want to decorate it with Please, me really quick? Let's do it. Let's so do it. Just to make it a little bit more fun and more messy. Yeah. We will just More messy pile equals it. more fun. Oh, yeah. I like your style. Always. Yeah. So we will just pour it on here. Here it comes. And I mean, Make it as high as you want. And so no prep. This is just pudding and whipped cream. Seriously, so easy. Your can's a little more aggressive than mine. I'm jealous. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh my but, gosh, look at that. Okay. And then I want to put some sprinkles on. Oh yeah. Because everything sprinkles. needs sprinkles. The color's got to fly. Can't tell. So is this a tradition or something you just did for that special birthday? It was just the one time, but I think we're going to have to make it a tradition. I say by that video, you totally should. Cherry on top. And cherry on top. And that pie is just waiting to go in someone's face. It Where's is. Jeff? Where's it's Jeff? Just, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not his birthday, unfortunately. But you better just watch out. <laughs> pie day's coming up. So. And really, the whole idea, like you said, with the pie fight and a few of the other ideas you'll share here as we get into it, just to make that standout day yes. that much more special. Yes, because absolutely. Because what other day of the year can you have a exactly. pie fight? Exactly. And you know what? What's nice about the pie, too, is that um, it sprays down really well. Nice. So like, your clothes will be fine. Everything should be fine outside, and we just kind of let the sprinklers take care of it. So somewhat minimal easy cleanup. cleanup. Somewhat yes. easy cleanup. The balloon <laughs> wishes fall into that same category of birthday magic, birthday yes. fun. What do you do here? So for the balloon wishes, I like to involve everybody in, at the party in on this, and um, instead of like blowing out candles on a birthday cake, it's a little bit of a different spin. So what I like to do, if you want to come over here, sure, is I. Just fill up these balloons with uh -huh. confetti. Okay. And they also work as really good um, decorations. So what you just do, this might be loud. They're darling. You just rub the sides and it sticks to it a little bit more. Oh, cute. And then come on over here. Uh-oh, what so are we what doing? what we do is I'm, I'm going to have you hold this. Okay, okay. And I tell everybody at the birthday party that they have to hold their balloon uh -huh. up high like this. Okay. Over your head. <laughs> and I want you to think about a wish that you want to oh, come true. Okay. And then if your balloon pops, then your wish will come true. So I'm thinking of my wish. Am yeah. I closing my eyes? I feel like, I, yeah, I feel like eyes need it to be might, closed It might this. help a little bit. Am I gonna get some pink highlights in my hair? Of course. Go for it, Lauren. All right. Ah! <laughs> my wish is coming true, I, I can think feel it. I think it is. I think it's coming true. <laughs> with every sprinkle of every piece of confetti. Every piece of confetti here. You've done this with your kids, and I the have. feedback, the reaction is just, I'm so sure. So funny, they love it, but sometimes their faces are not expecting that pop. That's a loud pop. I love it. When it's they right above it. your head. Yes. But giggles galore afterward because of course those wishes are coming true. Of course. Okay, I love that idea. Birthday wishes. We'll add that to our birthday tradition list. <laughs> Tell me about these crowns. So this one actually is really sentimental to me because when I was expecting my first baby, uh, we wanted to, yes, I helped plan my own baby shower. <laughs> um, <laughs> we wanted to honor all the women in my life who would be attending this baby shower. So Sweet. we decided that we wanted to make these paper crowns for each of the ladies attending the baby shower. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How special. It was super magical. The magical thing about it though was that I was able to think of all these ladies that I love and look up to and who I want my daughter to 
look up to. And so as I was making them, I thought about them and just how much I love them. So that's where the magic comes in there. Um, that does seem a bit daunting if you're going to do it for everybody well, in your party. These are elaborate creations. They so are. you could take it more simple if it was you a bigger can. event. Yeah, and I would suggest even just doing maybe one a year that you can take out and um, have that as a birthday tradition. So that maybe they could wear it during their balloon wishes or sure. singing happy birthday or something like that. But you're like able that. to reuse it year to year. Absolutely. What are these leaves made of? Just paper. Oh, really? Yeah. Fun shape to them. I fun, know. Fun yeah. movement. That's a great idea. It okay, was a lot of fun. What's this? So this is something I call the dream jar. And this is nice because it can kind of be an activity at a party or a baby shower that's going on in the background. So that doesn't have to be necessarily hands-on, but it's kind of nice to give somebody things to do. Mm -hmm. um, so what I like to do is I like to have this um, jar, and I, this, is, this is what it would look like after. Okay. But before, you would have everybody write down a dream or a wish. Uh huh. So this one, I wish you a lifetime of love, laughter, and happily ever after. Okay. And then you would just roll it up and tie it. This is a dream that happens to be written on pink sparkle paper. So I feel yeah. like, again, it's destined it is. to come it's true. It's pixie dust. <laughs> <laughs> I like your theme. I'm sensing a theme. Uh -huh. Pink, sparkles, yeah. all of them. Yeah, it. it's just whimsical and magical. <laughs> but um, So then you'll write a dream or a wish you have for that special person. Okay. And then you put it in your little jar. Yep. And then they can have that to look back on and to just know oh, how special. Popping out here. That wish is dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Just no. kidding. laughs> it's still there. But they look at that full jar and they feel what you were talking about, yeah. those sentiments yeah. and that speciality. And they feel how loved they are by yes. everybody that is has dreams and wishes for that. And what a happy keepsake with yeah. the bright colors to just I have that it. memento exactly. of that big day. Okay, last but not least, okay. you like to make some artwork on special days. Of course. you've done for us and we love it. I did, so you guys could keep this if you want. Oh my gosh, But thanks. this is a lot of fun because I call this um, paint bombs and I fill up eggs full of paint. And like plastic eggs? Like real eggs. Oh, what? Yeah, so um, we fill up the paint and then I take the canvas uh -huh. and you can get like decals which I think is kind of cool so this was a decal that I put on top and then you just kind of let the kids go crazy they throw their eggs at it and it splatters on here and then once it's dry you can peel it off and you have some fun little art so that decals decal is preserving the negative space yes. eggs are exactly. flying how do you get the paint in the eggs um, rinse them out and then you just kind of squirt them in. Okay. I try to get just a little bit off the top of the egg uh -huh. so that there's more space to hold the paint, uh -huh. but it's a lot of fun. But again, not only are you walking away with a treasure, a keepsake uh -huh. from that day, but how, what other day during the year are kids able to throw eggs, exactly. make a mess, yeah. have some fun. It definitely sets it apart as birthday magic. We love yes. this. Thank you so much. Of course. Great ideas. I know you share more ideas online. Where can we find you? Oh, all the time. I am found at Hello Whimsy on Instagram or hellowimsy.com. However, whimsy is spelled with a Z-Y instead of an S-Y, because I don't do anything the normal way. <laughs> and we love you for it. We love you for it. Great Perfect. idea. I'm feeling the magic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to have you.